Well, hey everybody, welcome to another Not Thursday in New Hampshire. I'm doing this one a bit different tonight because I have new things I want to play with, as in lights and such, and uh, that is my new Seeker 3 Pro melting my eyeballs. Just kind of toss it on the ground to project some light on myself. So, undoubtedly that is my new favorite out here flashlight. I got myself the Desert Tan one and oh, it just fits everything I have perfectly. Anyways, that's not why I am making this video tonight. Okay, so for those of you who watch my other videos, metal detecting, exploring, I always have my pack with me, right? And this flashlight always is always on my bag because not only is this my go out and do things bag, but it's my EDC bag. And I leave this flashlight on there for when I'm doing things, especially when it gets dark. So for a long time, it was the i5T that I kept on here. Now, turn that one off. So I keep the flashlight on there. So, you know, when I get home and I need hands-free light for keys and everything, I can press that. Or I can get the high. You guys can see plenty of illumination. Awesome. And because it's a double-A cell, they fit right in the Molly webbing, you know, on my 511 pack. Brilliant. It's just a perfect, perfect thing to have. Weighs nothing, inexpensive. Just add one to your kit. And I have stated in doing lots of Olight videos that I own lots of the i5Ts because they're very cool lights. This is my copper one, which I've had for quite some time. And it's got a beautiful patina on it. Just love this flashlight. Love it. But now, we have the i5R for rechargeable. It's the shiny one on this side. So we're gonna do a comparison tonight because I think it's, it's such a great light. I've been wanting to do this video since the release of the R. And that's what we're gonna do. All right, so that is my 5T. And that is my new 5R, non-patinaed. So yeah, they're both copper. They're just awesome looking lights. Got some heft to them. What I wanted to say why this video was so different, I never film my flashlight videos completely at night. Obviously I have to do other things during the day. Nighttime's generally B-roll. I wanted to do the whole thing outside tonight at night. I just thought it'd be cool. And again, Seeker 3 Pro is what is giving us uh, lighting for filming. That's what I'm going to use from now on because it's just killer. But anyways, they are both a double A size light. They both will run on double A, rechargeable, nickel metal hydride, alkaline. But now the i5R comes with a more substantial higher voltage cell which allows it to put out 350 lumens compared to 300 lumens. But not just that. As to where the older one would give you your 300 lumens for three minutes, and then it would back down to 150 lumens for 25 minutes, the new one will give you 10 full minutes of 300 lumens. I'm sorry, 350 lumens, it's higher. Which doesn't sound much, but when you use it intermittently, that's great. The best part about it is the back down. When this goes down to 150 lumens now, you get 170 minutes runtime out of it, not 25 minutes. That is substantial right there alone. Now, that's on the high setting. If you were to use the low setting on either one of these, which is 15 lumens, the i5T would run for 20 hours, the i5R will run for 37 hours. Huge, like huge. And so, you know, yeah, we'll get on to doing some beam shots and comparisons. It's not visually that much of a difference, the 50 lumens. It's the fact that 
when it rolls itself down to a lower setting, you're going to get a huge amount of extra runtime out of it than normal. And because it's rechargeable, you're not going to be burning through AA batteries. All right, let's take a look-see at the lights. So first thing we'll do is we'll take a look at the i5T, the original. Like I've said before, it's my go out to check the mail at night during this time of the year in winter flashlight. It's also, you know, got to take the trash out, go out to the shed, anything where I'm just moving around either the yard or the house and I don't have my, you know, full size flashlight on me. Not that there isn't always one within feet, but they're just great because you slide them into your pocket or I always keep them clipped in my hoodie from basically October to March. But yeah, it's great. You get that low setting, which is just enough to see, or you can bump it up when you really need to see. And it's just been a great favorite of mine. And like I said, you clip one on your bag and you always have one with you. All right, so now the new i5R. Keep in mind both flashlights, one freshly charged, one brand new alkaline. You may or may not notice the 50 lumen increase difference. Obviously different spots that I'm filming, angles, reflection, it's always going to vary. But it's very, very nice to know that after only a few minutes, it's not going to immediately ramp down. And when it does ramp down, at 170 minutes, you know, you get almost three hours of 150 lumens. That's great. And no, if you're wondering, you cannot use the new rechargeable cell inside of the i5T. Recommended not to. Some of you are going to try it. Some of you are going to say it works. I'm sure it does, but the LED may not be engineered to, you know, use that particular voltage. Okay, back to the seeker, so you know, just to differentiate. So I just want to show you guys something that I subconsciously do, but I don't even think to tell you. So while I'm out here doing this, I'm using multiple cameras and gear. And when I put something down, and this is why I carry multiple small flashlights with me. Again, you put it on the low mode. I left my camera over there. But I wanted to be able to find it in the dark without having to do this and walk and go crunch. So that is a very common thing that I do. Is put them on low and leave them with a piece of gear and it acts as a beacon. That is the other reason why for my bag it's always on there. And when lights go out, you can still see that little dot over there. And now with the new one running at 37 hours, I don't have to worry about killing the battery anytime soon. So I just thought I'd share that with you. That is one of the reasons why, you know, I'm a, a flashlight nut and I have so many with me at all times. I only carry like three at most, most of the times. Anyways. What's up, buddy? We're gonna finish up the video with Luke because it's time for his treats. You ready, huh? Oh yeah. There you go. Backyard barbecue mix. It's his favorite. Oh yeah, get it. It's good stuff, right? <laughs> Olite. Did not send me that. Did not send me that. Did not send me that. I bought these all during the flash sale. This is the one they sent me for review. It went on my bag. Thank you. These are so 
cool in my opinion. I bought one for everybody around here. And uh, I'll put the links down below. Go check them out. You can't beat the price. You guys use my links. It helps the channel. I appreciate that. And SDNT, 10, 10%, any non-sale item, anytime. That's it. Hope you got some useful info out of this and enjoyed the nighttime footage. Enjoyed Luby Doo's treat time. And that's it. Get out and do something fun. And enjoy your not Thursday.